been in touch with one of my year 13 students from last year who's now at university and asked her if she wouldn't mind letting me know the sort of thing she did to get the A star that she got in A-level chemistry. And she got back to me with quite a detailed list of things that she did. So I've summarised them and I'm going to share them with you now. So I hope you find them helpful. And one thing to point out is at the college I teach at, we don't put the students in for the AS exam at the end of year 12. So the first thing Ella said was right from the start of the course, so for the whole two years, she used to go back over topics throughout that time. So what she'd do was wait a couple of weeks after covering a topic, in other words, let herself forget it and then go over it again and make notes. So she used my videos to help her make some notes, the textbook that we provide the students with, and the notes that she's made in class as well. Now, interestingly, these notes ended up in the bin. Ella told me that just writing it down again helped it to sink in, and it obviously did, judging by the grade that she got. She then mentioned something that I call a revision frame that I shared with the students around about February half term of their second year. And what it enabled her to do was go back to the start of the course and she ranked the topics that we'd covered so far in order of difficulty. So I'm going to show you what this frame looks like in a second, but I'll just finish off this slide. So what she did, once she'd identified topics that she wasn't mega confident about, she did some past paper questions by topic. So that was something else that I shared with the students whereby I just packaged all the past questions by topic so the students could go straight to questions for a particular topic. And the thing she liked about the grid was it made sure that nothing was missed out. So this is what the frame looks like. It's literally just a big table with all the topics on. Now, when I sort of put them into topics, I got 34. It just depends how you sort them out. So I encourage the students to Think about all the topics we'd studied up to that point and just grade themselves one to five or smiley face, straight face, unhappy face, you know, the kind of thing. And that enabled them to sort of rank order which topics were okay and which needed the most attention. And then running across the top of this table, it's just my suggestions on what they could do to sort of improve on those topics. So the obvious things like reviewing notes, handouts, going through the textbook. At the end of each chapter in the textbook we use, there's questions. I'm sure it's the same in all textbooks. Um, our textbook also has exam questions at the end of each section. That's just a hyperlink to my video index, which I've got on my Twitter page, so you can get it from there. We have lots of other chemistry textbooks in the, in the library, so I would encourage students to go to the library and use other textbooks because their questions are slightly different. And there's the hyperlink to the past paper questions by topic. And obviously, they can ask a teacher as well. So my logic was, if a student wasn't sure on a topic, they did all of this, surely by the end of all of that, they should have improved. Ella also mentions past papers. She mentions it in a couple of um, parts of her statement, so I'll, I've, I've split them into two parts. So the first one was just general past paper usage. So she said from about February half term of year 13, remember we didn't do the AS exams, and if you are doing AS exams, I would recommend that you start looking at past papers around this time in year 12. So right from February till the exams, she was doing past papers. So she just found all the available past papers. There's loads of websites you can get the past papers from. And she created a table of all the ones that were available. Now, bear in mind that the chemistry spec that's on now is pretty new. Ella's class was the first class through. So she was using mainly old spec questions for this. But the questions are still very relevant. There might be the odd little bit that's not on anymore. Um, but in the main, I would say there's nothing wrong with using old spec past papers. 
She liked to enter the score in a table and if she wasn't happy with the mark, she did it again. That's what she said. And then probably from about May to the exams, Ella reckoned she was doing a pass paper every two or three days. Now, the second bit of pass paper um, information she gave me was a focus on specific types of questions. So what she was finding was she was spending too long on the longer answer questions. So typically these will be worth six or eight marks. So what she did was she turned that into a flashcard and just had the question written across the top. And then she literally just bullet pointed the marking points. So she'd have a go at answering it herself and then look at the mark scheme and make bullet points for the answer points. And then what that helped her do, she said, was it made her very, very concise in how she answered these questions. So, you know, you typically got just over a minute a mark. So you're looking at about an eight mark question. You haven't got more than 10 minutes to answer that. And by doing this, she said it really helped her get faster and faster at answering the questions. And then the final thing she did was she got a family member to test her against the clock. So obviously, you know, the family member doesn't really need to know anything about chemistry. They just got to know that you're saying what's on that flashcard. Another thing Ella mentioned was recall how to tackle those mind-numbingly boring facts that you've just got to cram into your head. So things like definitions, transition element colours, all the reactions of transition elements, all the organic reactions, reagents and conditions, formulae, that sort of thing. So again, she used flashcards for that and got family members to test them till she knew them inside out. So just to finish, I'm just summarizing what Ella said with some top tips. So start revising from the very start of the course. And if you do that, Ella reckoned that by the time that she got to the final exams, she'd probably managed to revisit the year 13 topics six or seven times, and obviously the year 12 topics even more than that. Prioritise topics that you're less confident with, but don't forget about the easier ones. You've still got to cover those, but maybe not in as much detail. And get yourself organised so you don't miss anything out. So the revision frame, Ella said, was very, very helpful. And the past paper grid that she came up with herself, just to log her performance on all of those past papers that she'd done. And of course, the very, very best of luck.